to make a better Nigeria, as there is nothing that could bring us closer together than having a nation that is peaceful, sharing, and caring. As engineers, I hope we can create a Nigeria that is sound and stable. As environmentalists, I hope we can create an environment that is conducive. As scientists, I hope we can find solutions to earth problems. As agriculturists, I hope we can curb salvation. And as educationists and managers, I hope we can make Nigeria into an organized and united nation. Alone, we can do so little. But together, we can do so much to make Nigeria a place the unborn generations will be proud to call home. To the Vice Chancellor, sir, you inspired affection and respect in us. And as such, we shall leave this citadel of knowledge as proud foot might as we seek to uphold the standards of this school. Sir, we promise not to disappoint you alongside others who have shared their knowledge with us. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to appreciate all the staff of this wonderful institution. Thank you so much for having us here. And uh, that was the speech, the valedictory speech by the best graduate <laughs> student, the person of Enebe Simon Ajinoe. And now uh, the newly graduated students will be inducted into the alumni of the Federal University of Technology. Uh, you can say that they have paid the price and they have earned this prize. So help me God, I hereby admit you all and severally to FUT Mina Alumni Association. Please be seated. Chancellor, sir, I will now invite those institutions that have sent goodwill and congratulatory messages to the third convocation of Federal University of Technology, MENA, to present their messages. And uh, now we have goodwill messages uh, from the different I will be calling on their list. Uh, that have goodwill messages for the university and for the graduate professor to come and present this or Chefi. CVC. Professor Alassan Ibrahim, DVC, IBB, Lapai. Professor Idris Amali, Federal University, Lafia. Professor Izike Ilya, Federal University, Wukari. Professor Zakari Sahid, NDA, Kaduna. Professor M. O. Iwe, Michael Okpara, University of Agriculture. Musa B. Lika, Likita, Niger State Polytechnic, Zungeru. Alhaji Mama Montari, Registrar, Niger State Polytechnic. Mrs. A.S.S. Ndayako, Edusoko University, Bida. Professor Kohn Dauda. Waska Headquarters, Ghana.
Professor Elijah Okpeyemi, University of Lagos. Professor Matthew Adamo, Joseph Swa Sawan, University of Makodi. Professor Jibrin A. Alasan, Federal University of Kashiri. Professor Yusuf Seidu, Usmanu Danfodio University of Sokoto. Professor G. Gozim, University of Jos. Professor Maikano Abu, National State University. Engineer Dr. Sani Yahaya, Federal Polytechnic, Bida. Professor Ahmad Doko Ibrahim, ABU, Zaria. Chancellor, sir, it is now my privilege to respectfully call upon the visitor to the university, Professor uh, Chief Chukwemeka Nwajuba, representing the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, who is also the Minister, Honorable Minister of State for Education, to please deliver his address. The visitor, sir. And now the visitor uh, and the person of His Excellency, President Muhammadu Buhari, GSCFR, ably represented by the Minister of State for Education, Chukwemeka Mwajuba, to uh, you know, deliver his address. All our, my fellow Nigerians and citizens of this great nation, I have the privilege to deliver to you the address of our president, Muhammad Buhari GCFR, at this convocation of the Federal University of Technology here in MENA. This is February 1st, in the year of our Lord 2022. It is with utmost pleasure that I address us all on this auspicious occasion of the 38th Founders' Day and 30th Convocation Ceremony of the Federal University of Technology, MENA. Let me start by congratulating His Imperial Majesty Yoba Olate Yibo, Ogulade Lade Rusi Ududum II, the Deji and Paramount Rule of Akure Kingdom, on his installation today as our new chancellor at this university. It is my prayer that this university will witness tremendous growth under your leadership as you have just pledged. I also offer my heartfelt congratulations to distinguished recipient of degrees on this occasion. And as we proceed with the convocation tomorrow, the various honorary degrees that we will be issuing to the group managing director of the NNPC, the founder of BUA, Abdul Samad Rabiu, the president of the African Development Bank, Dr. Kim Wumi Adesanya, and our celebrated former head of state, His Excellency General Abdul Salam Abubakar. These eminent Nigerians have made tremendous contributions in their various capacities to the growth of our country. The honorary degrees will be conferred on them tomorrow and I commend the Senate and Council of this great citadel of learning for honoring these illustrious patriots. It is my hope that the honor will encourage them to continue to serve 
this is our great country. At this juncture, I must probably congratulate all graduating students. No doubt, the successful completion of a program of study in a university brings a sense of deep fulfillment. The journey might have been learned with diverse experiences, pleasant or otherwise. Nonetheless, I believe that you are convinced today that the end justifies the means. I equally congratulate our proud parents, guardians and graduating students on this memorable occasion. Charity, they say, begins at home. The success of today began with the sound foundation of informal education by these parents. However, the journey is not yet over. I enjoin you to continue to guide and guard our youths, mostly these undergraduates and young graduates, against abandoning our age-long values of hard work, honesty, compassion, and decent comportment. I commend our governing council, management, and entire staff of this university for their dedication in playing their respective roles, sometimes involving personal sacrifice and extra work. The role of universities in economic growth and national development cannot be overemphasized. Universities of technology are pivotal to the actualization of our national development agenda and our sustainable development goals. As part of government effort to promote science and technology for national development and address the issue of unemployment among our youths, this administration is committed to upgrading the existing Federal Universities of Technology to meet the original mandate of our founding fathers and establish at least one University of Technology in each of our six geopolitical zones in the Federation. Apart from other long-term efforts we are making to address the challenge of unemployment, we have since 2016 engaged millions of Nigerian youths and many vulnerable citizens through our various social intervention programs. Furthermore, more than 2 million Nigerians, a substantial number of them youths, have also benefited from the federal government's enterprise empowerment program that was established to upscale micro, small, and medium enterprises. Let me assure you that government will continue to be alive to its responsibilities towards university education. Efforts will continue to be geared towards improved infrastructural development and increased funding for our universities. We shall continue to ramp up funding of education as our resources improve. However, while the federal government does not have any intention of dedicating its responsibility to higher education institutions, the time has come for all stakeholders to take another look at the erstwhile mo model of the absolute reliance on government. While government will consistently play its role to place our universities on a higher pedestal, universities in turn are expected to fulfill their mandate effectively in teaching, research, and service delivery. I implore all footmen staff, staff to always perform their duties with the highest sense of patriotism, dedication, and selflessness. Also, it is important to always ensure a peaceful environment that stimulates productivity and academic success. Please be assured that we are committed to having an industrial harmony in our educational institutions and shall continue to dialogue with the staff unions to amicably resolve differences. At this juncture, I urge our new graduates to remember that the degrees that they have been conferred on them today means that they are empowered to serve in life. Government is hopeful that you will all defend your new status through consistent hard work, increased focus, patriotic citizenship, and un unalloyed commitment to national unity, peace, and progress. Think innovatively and build synergies through the relationships you have established in our school to advance your fortunes in life. Let us all join hands to make Nigeria a greater nation. My dear graduates, parents, guardians, members of council, your excellencies, governors here of Ondo State and that of uh, Niger State, our host community, I wish you all success in your future endeavors. Once again, congratulations. Long live the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you. And uh, that, of course, was a speech by the visitor. Uh, President Muhammad Dubari, ably represented by the Minister of State for Education, uh, Chukwemeka Mwajuba. Of course, we are uh, slowly coming to the end of today's convocation ceremony, but there are still Chancellor a few sir, items would like to recognize on the, the schedule. Of the 
Deputy Governor of Ondo State. You are welcome, sir. We also like to represent the, uh, to recognize the representative of Chief of Air Staff, Air Vice Marshal A.A. Shinkafi. You are welcome, sir. Honorable Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to call upon you to declare the convocation closed. Chancellor, sir. And now we have the Chancellor, the newly uh, installed Chancellor of the Federal University of Technology here. To I declare. hereby declare the convocation closed. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, officially, the assembly will now rise for the university anthem to be followed by the national anthem. Nation item, please. Thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. The convocation possession will live in the reverse order to be led by the visitor to the university, ably represented here today by the Honorable Minister for Education, Honorable Chief Barrister Chukwemeka Mwajuba, to be followed by the University Chancellor, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Alade Toibo, Ogolade Alade Lucy, the Odundo, the second, the Deji of Akure, and the chairman I must confess that this has been a very wonderful um, ceremony indeed, and for everything that has a beginning, most surely. Um, have uh, an end and this is to officially 
bring the convocation ceremony to an end for today. However, we have the continuation that is the day two that will be happening live uh, tomorrow. We had goodwill messages. We saw um, the university give out awards to deserving students. And for each and every one that has graduated from the Federal University of Technology, it is um, a plus you know, for you on your TV or wherever you're going to. As um, it was mentioned by the Vice Chancellor that um, the university prides itself as one of the schools that actually, you know, when employers are looking out, they actually look out for um, students or graduates rather of um, the Federal University of Technology. And it is also worthy to note that if you come to FUT, you're not just uh, graduating with um, um, your your honors, your first class, your second class, or even your third and your pass. But then you are graduating in character, sound character, because the lecturers are seasoned, and of course they have all that it takes to put you on the outside world. I must confess that I am in awe of everything that has happened from um, the awards to the um, conferment and of course to the speeches that were delivered uh, right here at the convocation square. And of course, you can still hear the band playing for um, the recession and it went in the reverse order. And that is why you are still listening to the band uh, playing. I will hand over now to Mary Blessing, who is gorgeously smiling because she knows that what is to follow, let me not cast you, but then what is to follow will be a lot of merriment and um, conversations or interactions with um, possible interactions with graduate students and of course uh, their parents. Yes, thank you very much, Felicia. And you are right on that. There will be a lot of merriment. Today is still purple day. The color is purple. And we can hear and see a lot of celebration, joy, and laughter. The convocation ceremony for day one has just been concluded. And having attended this ceremony, it was such an honor and privilege to be able to receive all the goodwill messages, the speeches from renowned individuals. We saw the speech from the pro chancellor and then we saw from the chancellor the vice chancellor and even the validatory message from the overall graduate or the overall best graduating student and after that we saw the award of prizes to outstanding students of this university which we like to call the best of the best they have received a reward for their labor and after now it is just going to be jolly men celebration we might be having interactions with individuals those are our outstanding students, uh, parents of our graduates. So just stick around to see. It's a might, so we're not necessarily sure about that, but definitely we're going to be having interactions. So all you need to do is to stick to the dial of champions. We will be here giving you uh, all the happenings going down at the Suleiman Okomo Convocation Square. Like I said, uh, like I said, today has all been merriment it has all been celebration the color is purple and right now i am live on search tv here youtube where i will be having my interactions and interviews with uh some of our outstanding students like i said they are the best of the best and they have definitely received the reward for their labor. Today is a day to just celebrate hard work. It's to celebrate the labor of the students who have spent over five years in this university trying to bag their first degree. And today we have seen this conferment of this first degree. So yes, so yes, like I said, this is going to be definitely, this is de going to be definitely an amazing interaction. All right, so I'm still expecting some of our overall graduating students, our best graduating students. We might be interacting with him. Some students who have collected awards, outstanding awards and different prizes in the university. I am being joined by one of them. He is definitely smiling. I can see the joy radiating over his face. Good afternoon. How are you doing? Good afternoon. I'm fine. Thank you. All right. So what is your name? Mike Amigida. 
Michael Migida, how does it feel to be a graduate of FPT Mina? Well, I feel blessed. I feel, I feel privileged to graduate from this prestigious uh, university. Sincerely speaking, my joy is overflowing right now, yes. All right, so you definitely collected an award, which I say is a reward for your labor. Did you know this was going to happen? Was it intentional? What is something you decided that I must get this? Tell us. Well, when I came to this school, I came with a mindset, and that mindset was to be the best. Yes, in anything I find my hands doing, I just want to be the best. So coming uh, into... Um, uh, the telecommunication department was an opportunity for me to really uh, bring out my, my talent because that's where I love to be. I, that's what I love to do. That's where I find joy, uh, you know, to be. So when I found myself there, I, I trust God. I know, in sense speaking, it has been God. It has been God right from the onset because it wasn't easy at all. But with God, all things are possible. And today you can see that this award is a, a, a sign of God's faithfulness. Yes, I can see you have mentioned joy, such a joy, and you're celebrating God, which is such an amazing thing. So as you know, they say frustration under tension. So there must have been some challenges that you might have faced in the course of your study. Can you highlight some of them? Well, my beginning uh, in this school was not really nice. It was really, really hectic for me. I resumed, I came in as a direct entry student, and, you know, I resumed three weeks to exam. And, you know, so many people are saying, why is this guy here by this time? Is it that he wasn't aware that he got an admission or something? But I, I started on a very low level with a GP, CGP of 2.23. And today I'm collecting an award. So you, you definitely know from that level to where I am right now is definitely a, a lot of struggle. There has been a lot of struggle. But out of those struggle, I came out a conqueror. So I wow, that is so amazing. 2.23, wow. So what was the secret? How did you make it? Well, um, I must say the truth. I, I had just three points, uh, which I'll be linking, and then from there we'll have a triangle of my life. Just identified with God, and then I worked hard, and then it's just from my church to my class, and then to my house. Just those three places. I never had the time to make you know, friends that would not really help my life, so I was just there to make sure that I made something good out of my been here. Yeah. All right, you must definitely be a very intentional individual. So now if you were to advise students who are still trying to get this degree, what would you say they should focus on? What should be their strategy so that they can be like you in the next few years? Well, for me, I would say um, that incoming students should just try as much as possible to put God first because indeed, when you put God first, every other thing will fall in place. So. Uh, apart from putting God first, secondly, please just focus on your academics. Yes, focus on academics and other academic-related um, activities. Yes, they are very important because even when I was in school, I, I happened to be one of uh, Nate's uh, financial secretary during my time. So uh, those activities are actually good, yes, but don't forget that you are here to study. Yes. Serve God and study your book very well. All right. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to have you. Okay. So that is uh, Michael. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So that is Michael, one of the outstanding students who have bagged an award today on this ceremony. And then. I'm doing fine. How are you, too? My name is uh, Ikena Given. Hi, Ikena. So how does it feel to be grad? Mm. Be joyful. Yes, very joyful. Wow. Joyful is the word. Okay, so can you describe, tell us, what has been your experience in FU Mina? It has been a mix of um, passion, a mix of ups and downs, a mix of challenges, a mix of everything and social, but not too much social. I would have loved to to have experience. Interesting. Okay, so now you are a graduate. You have your first degree, right? What would be your advice to other students who want to be like you? Education is not a scam. Like the word out there is, education is actually the best legacy you can actually give anyone. So if you are not yet a graduate, please find yourself into one and become a graduate. It doesn't have to be inside the four walls of the classroom. 
There are other ways you can actually get a degree. There is different ways. So get yourself an education. That's what I always tell someone. Whether you are regardless of um, university, polytechnic, anyone, just get yourself an education. That's what I would tell someone. All right. Thank you very much, Ikena. It's a pleasure to have you. All right. So you've heard it there from Ikena, a graduate. You can see the joy radiating. Like I said, today is a day for celebration. And the only way we will be able to feel that celebration, that joy, that laughter, is when we can feel from the minds of our graduates, our parents, people who are celebrating today. And that is exactly what we're having right now. I'm still being joined by many of our graduating students. I have with me a graduate who has bagged an award today. Good afternoon. And what is your name? Uh, good afternoon. My name is Mbello, just formerly Adamu Muhammad Bello, but Bello we do. All right, Bello, how are you feeling today? Uh, I can't know what, the words are gone. I don't know what to express what I feel today. I can see, I can see you look very overwhelmed. All right, so today you collected an award, right? So was this something that you planned? You said that I must get this award. Or was this something that just happened by accident? Honestly, it wasn't planned. It was never planned. It was. It came naturally. It was just. It was just natural. Then, with the grace of God, obviously we can't leave God out of it. So it wasn't planned. Definitely, I just came. I came in to put Mina, just to get the certificate. Make sure I get the certificate and go. So this extra baggage here coming with me. They came in naturally. It's just. Wow, naturally, huh? Okay, so for people who this doesn't come to them naturally, what will you advise them? What's the trick? How do you do it? I feel there's no trick to all this. Everybody is, has what he's good at. So this is not the end to life. In fact, this is just the beginning. So I wish everybody well, and I hope we, get, we meet each other at the greater heights. So after bagging this award, what are your homes, hopes, your dreams, your aspirations going forward? Uh, I would say let's live the future in the future. <laughs> and I can see this is, a nat this, is, this is a natural phenomenon for you. You just excel in life, right? I have the, actually, the, I have this, there's a quote I love, a statement I love quoting. Anything you find yourself doing, make sure you're excellent at it. You find yourself selling a tomato, you're a tomato seller, be the best tomato seller. You're a mechanic, be the best mechanic. You're an athlete, be the best athlete. So just try to be good, if not the best, very, very good at anything you do. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bello. All right, so you've heard it here said, excellence is the watchword. And you can see that graduates of this school are definitely excellent. That is why they are the most sought after in the labor market. It has been an interesting day. It has been an interesting event. And uh, yes, I am being joined by my colleagues. We have been giving you updates on all that has been happening right here at the Suleimanu Convocation Square. I am being joined by Moses Odaba and Felicia. How are you guys doing? So let's talk about this. Let's talk about today. What really happened? What really went down? Uh, well, uh, it was a very interesting uh, experience. Of course, we have to say that uh, it was very, very impressive. And uh, we seem to have the overall best graduating student here with us for an interaction. Uh, it won't be proper to end this without having an interaction with him. So maybe I'll just hand the mic back over to Mary Blessing and you can interact with him. Yes, thank you very much, Odaba. I am being joined by the overall best graduating student of this university. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. My name is Inebe Simon Adinoe. Wow. All right. So I must say, first of all, congratulations. You. you have emerged as a victor of this university. How was the journey for you? Mm, honestly, it hasn't been easy because I, I, I had to read, had to learn, and I also had to meet people, socialize. So it's not easy combining everything together, but I'm grateful to God for bringing me this far. So. Still good. You are definitely a victor. And in the course of your five years, there must have been challenges. There must have been struggles. Can you highlight some of them for us? Uh -huh. <laughs> Was it a smooth ride for you for five years? 
I don't, you know, I, I'm always prepared for, you know, for the worst. So, and when they come, I don't really see them as challenge, challenges, rather, because I feel, okay, this should come. It's normal, part of the whole process. And let me just, you know, move on with my life. Like, as we say, we move. And, interesting, and, uh, interesting. So you look like a man of strategy, someone who plans out, as you have just highlighted. So what is the secret? What will you advise other students who are vying to be in this position in the next few years? Just believe, although I didn't set out to become the best graduating student, all I wanted was, you know, to come to the school, get good results, and then leave. The truth is I wanted a first class, and that, was, that has been my goal. And things have been going well for me because I made sure I do or I did what is right. Um, I think that is the most important thing. All right. So after this achievement, after this feat, what are your dreams, your hopes and aspirations going forward? I'm naturally a giver, so I just want to give to the society. I just want to make Nigeria, just as I said, Nigeria a place my unborn kid be proud to call home. I just want to be a proud, um, I just want to be a proud son, a proud father, a proud husband, and that's just all. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was definitely a pleasure to have you. And you have heard it from the overall best graduating student of today's event. And uh, the next set of people that I will be interacting with is a mother and her son. She looks so proud and she definitely looks beautiful. It is such an honor to have you. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon. Thank you. Ma, how does it feel to be a parent of a graduate? I'm so happy. I'm so excited. We thank God for his glory, for keeping them here for about five to six years. Today we are celebrating them. So I cannot express my joy enough, but I'm so grateful to God. And we thank God for this institution. We thank God for the VC, everybody that has made today possible. We are so grateful. Wow. Okay, Ma, so is today your first day that you are stepping into FUT Mina? No. All right, so when you stepped in, what are some of the things that you noticed in terms of like the structures, the infrastructure? How would you describe FUT Mina? I think this institution is one of the wonderful institutions in the nation, in terms of particularly their ICT. I'm so happy because, you know, when they write exam before you know it, while they are at home, they have already received their results. I think they are doing a wonderful job here. Thank you very much, Ma. So what are some of the challenges that you face raising a child here in FET Mina or raising a now graduate? What are some of the challenges that you face? The challenges I face is the distance is coming from a far place from Plateau State. And you know, anytime he comes for holiday while coming back, my mind will not be settled. I'm troubled until I'm assured, I'm assured that he has arrived safely. So these are some of the challenges. And the weather too. Wow. We are coming from being that we are coming from a cold place. This weather here is a bit harsh. But we thank God. Yes, we definitely thank God. All right, so I'm going to move over to the graduate himself or the graduate himself. Good afternoon. Can you tell us your name? Okay, good afternoon. I'm um, Benjamin Kamji. Benjamin Kamji. Okay, um, I feel good. I feel delighted to have gotten so far. It, it's been God. Actually, it's not been by my effort. So I feel so grateful for my mom and for my lecturers and everybody that made this a success. Wow, amazing. So since your mom is here, I'm going to ask this question. You know this common narrative that people say, oh, my career choice was influenced by my parents, or oh, I'm studying this course just because of my parents, I want to make my parents proud. Would you say that your mom was a huge influence in your career choice? Yeah, the large extent. <laughs> really? Yeah. So what role did she play in all of this? So she's into, she's a chemistry lecturer. Yeah, so I love science. I got that particularly from her. <laughs> so I would say I got much of that from my own side. Yes. 
That is really amazing. Thank you, Ma, for being such a huge influence to his life. All right, so last words. What will you advise other people who are aspiring to be in your position today? Mm -hmm. oh, basically, I would advise them that they should put God first. That's the major thing. And also, in looking for anything in your life, for you to go forward, you need to be focused. You need to be determined. You also need to have zeal towards whatever. That's being passionate. You have to be passionate about everything you want in life. So you go, go get it. All right. Thank you very much. So, Mommy, um, what, would you, what would be your advice to other parents who have their children still in school? What would be your advice to them? My advice to them is, first of all, they should pray. They should pray. They should be prayerful, support the children in prayers. Secondly, they should not force the child concerning career. Let the children read what they have, the ability, the interest, and what they really want in life, and then encourage them not to force their own will on the children but just to encourage the child on what the child wants to do, and you observe the child has the ability to do it. Support the child. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure to have you. All right. So, yes, you can see, you can feel all the energy, the joy, the celebration. It is such an amazing day. This day is a very remarkable day in the life of the university. It is a day where we get to celebrate our graduates who have hustled. They have hustled for this degree. And it was such an amazing one to be here at this event. I am being joined again by Felicia and Odaba. Felicia, so just tell us, tell us what has happened today. Um, well, I think you have been able to describe everything that has happened and then we just want to say thank you to you out there for listening to us. Thank you for tuning to the Dial of, Ch uh, of Champs and also thank you for listening and watching us on Search Media on YouTube and all of our social media platform. I'll hand over to Odaba now to, of course, do justice to the behind the scene crew who we cannot see. <laughs> Of course, uh, as you know, this event was brought to you live both on, on, all, on all our social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. And of course, we have to say thank you to some very special people, Imode Babatunde Jr., uh, John Odomene. There are a lot of people here. I can't say all your names, but of course, uh, we need to see. Oh, of course, Mike Udo. If not, we just have been talking uh, like uh, nobody will be able to hear us. But of course, a very big thank you to everyone. Not to forget that this is just day one of the convocation ceremony. Tomorrow, we still have investiture uh, for the higher levels and also the honorary degrees are still with some uh, commissioning of projects right here on the university campus. Uh, we'll had, head back to the studio to uh, link up with SDQ. Until we come your way tomorrow, enjoy the rest of your day, and congratulations to all the convoking graduates. Subscribe to Search TV on YouTube. Search for Search TV and click the subscribe button.